Hey, have you ever wondered, why do dead ants attract more ants? Have you ever killed an ant and then noticed after a while it is surrounded by many live ants? Which leads us to the question, why do dead ants attract more ants? Can ants sense death? Do ants bury their dead? Do they mourn their dead? The answer to these questions may come as a surprise to you. We think that ants are just tiny insects that move around looking for something sweet. But in fact, ants are a very sophisticated species with many different fascinating characteristics. Most of the ants don't have eyes or ears, which means they rely heavily on their sense of smell to find their way to food and their way back to their nest. Ants release pheromones when they travel from their nest to their destination. And when an ant dies, it releases oleic acid. For an ant, the smell of oleic acid is equal to death. They detect the scent, and then swarms of ants rush to the carcass. They consider a dead ant as a threat to their colony. Meaning, if a single ant dies, it can spread disease, which can kill other ants. So they rush the dead ant, not to mourn it, but to get rid of the body before it can cause any more death in the colony. Wilson made an amazing discovery that if you bathe a living ant in oleic acid, it's as good as dead to the other ants. The oleic acid covered ant will be taken to a dead ant pile because the other ants detecting the oleic acid will consider it dead. Ants are pretty smart creatures as they build structures of dead ants and waste materials called middens. These are like graveyards or dumps where they throw away all the waste material and bury their dead. Ants don't literally bury their dead, but if they find a dead ant, Surely, they'll carry it to the midden. They don't have feelings like humans do, and they don't mourn their dead, but they carry out this ritual for every dead ant for self-preservation. The queen has a big role when it comes to ant death in the hive, because the queen makes sure things run smoothly in the hive, being responsible for reproduction. Because she lays thousands of eggs, without the queen, the hive will not survive, and the queen is unreplaceable. What happens when the queen ant dies? When the queen dies, her dead body is also taken to the midden. But death of the queen ant is far more significant than the death of other hive members. This is because the ant population will no longer be able to reproduce. Therefore, other members of the hive will die eventually, and the hive will be no more. Did you know that there's a species of ant that plays dead? Fire ants are the most common species when it comes to playing dead. These are quite aggressive towards other ants' nests. If they see an enemy ant, they will pretend to be dead. And when the other ants move away, it might even get up and run away. If you are bothered by ants moving around in your home or backyard, killing the ant is not a good idea because by killing an ant, you're going to invite other ants. Ants usually gather in places where they find food, usually something sweet. So in order to get rid of ants, we should never leave food open where ants have access to it, or we need to get rid of their nest altogether. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and learned a lot of new things. Thank you for watching Why Do Dead Ants Attract More Ants? If you liked the video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel. See you in our next video.